Queries are an excellent tool to get specific data from your projects. Queries are based on case query language, which allows you to make analytical requests for different entities in case. To start a new query, click on Queries, then click Create Query. This dropdown will contain a list of all the entities that you can search for. By default, Test Case is selected. If you click on it, you should see a dropdown list. And by default, if you do not specify the project that you'd like to query from, it'll pull data from all the projects inside your workspace. Remember, these are projects that you have access to. If you do not have permissions to access a project, you will not get results in this query. Let's hit search and see what happens. As you can see, it pulled results for test cases from all of the projects that I have access to. Now let's try and narrow down our search. Let's specify a project. As soon as you start typing the attribute name, you will get a list of suggestions in the dropdown. Let's select project, then the operator, and define the project value as CDS. Hit search. There you go. We were able to narrow down and limit our results to just the CDS project. Now let's give another attribute. Let's say we want to get only automated test cases. There you go. We were able to narrow down our results to just seven test cases. Let's give it one more attribute. Say I want to search with a custom field. Smoke test is empty. There you go. Once you are happy with the query, you can save it. Hit save and give it a name. You will be able to access the saved query from the queries list. And to open any saved query, simply click on it. It's important to note that every time you search or a saved query is opened, you will get data in real time, meaning the next time you open the same query, if there are any test cases newly added and match the criteria of the query in the time in between, they will be shown in the query results. For example, if you add an automated test case which does not have the custom field checked, the next time you perform the query, it will be shown in the query results. Editing the saved query is fairly simple. Click on this box which is already populated with the query and edit any attributes or operators that you would like to change. For example, let's change this so that it's a smoke test. Hit search and once you have your query results, you can update this query. Instead of updating it, you can also save it as a new query so that the existing query is not changed. Let's look at a couple of more examples for better understanding. In our saved queries, look at this one. This query is pulling results from test cases that are created within the past 30 days from the project. CDS and TC, whose author is the current user performing the query, as well as the playwright reporter. If you would like to look at the syntax of case query language, click on this icon which will take you to the help article. From here, you can use the heading sidebar to navigate to the specific entity's examples. Looking at defects, here are the attributes and the examples for those attributes. Let's look at one final example. Going back to our list, let's look at something with the entity, defects. This one's pulling data for defects whose status is open and the severity of the associated test cases is critical and the milestone is empty or null. As you type your query, notice how it's automatically color-coded for better readability. If you happen to input something that doesn't adhere to the QQL syntax, an error prompt will appear, allowing you to rectify it immediately. Moreover, for fields with predetermined properties, you have the convenience of clicking on them and selecting from the available options, eliminating the need for manual typing. Additionally, the results of your queries can be pinned to your dashboards with the QQL widget to help you monitor specific test cases, results, or defects. In your dashboard, click Add Widget and choose the QQL widget. You can choose from your list of saved queries and specify which columns you want to display in the table.
If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles in our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.